Are we ready to see Cordao going to the moon? Uh, I get lots of questions in regards to Cordao and why and when they're going to launch and is the mainnet ready, is the mainnet going to launch soon? Um, one thing I know for sure, uh, these guys were doing so many promises and they deliver nothing. And are they going to launch the mainnet? Probably they're going to launch the mainnet. Is it going to happen today? I don't know, maybe. For sure, there's a new app kind of released as in APQ, uh, APK. Um, in case you go into the Discord and find it there, uh, I'm not going to test it yet. Uh, it's just uh, having some updates in the main menu, but just the fact that there's everybody's buzzing and there's so much traffic on the um, on the Discord that maybe they're cooking something and maybe finally, after missing so many deadlines in the last month, they're probably going to uh, to release the mainnet. Uh, how is that going to look like? I don't know. Uh, Am I disappointed? Yes. Uh, and I'm not disappointed because the project is not launched or because uh, the project is, is taking so long. And I get it. Things take a long time and I kind of know how to manage my expectations when it's about projects. But I hate the fact that people are putting specific dates for deadlines and you're not achieving them. And that's again not something that bothers me what bothers me is if you miss a date and you miss your promise you're late to the date dude just say something come on there's millions of people expecting some answers from you just say guys apologies we missed the deadline because so on and so forth um, just not saying anything is quite disappointing for me as probably a a big fan of the network and not me particularly but so many people millions of people who've been in this project from the very beginning and again this is not the shocking news for me um, the shocking news is the fact that they're going to give you 20 percent of 25 percent of what you mind <laughs> in the mainnet release again for me very good very smart expectable but why not communicating this from the very beginning? Why giving false hopes? And that's what kind of bothers me in general with people. Uh, why giving false hopes when you can actually manage that from the very beginning? Um, instead of giving false hopes and big expectations, why not mitigate that and give realistic hopes, give realistic deadlines, so then people are surprised in case you over deliver on something that you kind of predicted to underperform. Uh, I, I don't know why people are doing that. And I see lots of buzz around the fact that um, they're going to give you 25% of your mine, coins, mine core coins. And then in the next two years, you're going to mine again the coins that you already mined. So then you can actually migrate them into your wallet. Um, Smart, I, I like that, I must admit I like that because you try to avoid any massive dumps and you try to avoid any some sort of people just taking advantage of the network and mainnet and being launched and you have the option of getting rid of your coins. So instead of suffering a huge loss in dumping this, um, they mitigate it by offering you only a 25% of your, of your wallet. I've got so little coins, so it doesn't really matter for me. Um, I'm here for what the network has to offer. Um, and in case of security, decentralize, and all the bits that they kind of promote, I want to see if they can actually deliver that. But because they missed so many things and they disappointed in so many things, I'm keeping my hopes very, very little. And actually resolving this trilemma is kind of uh, being shadowed by the fact that they can't even communicate or they can't even respect the deadline or kind of know how to postpone a deadline with good communication. Um, 
there's a lot of talk and I've got involved in, uh, in Twitter. You can find my Twitter link in the, in the description as well as my Telegram group in which we can discuss more things about Cordao and all the other networks that I'm talking about. But um, I've got involved in so many, uh, so many kind of tweets and I tweeted about it. And yes, yeah, still no answers from them, but you see people being kind of um, pros and cons in regards to it. One thing is for sure, they don't know how to communicate and the fact that you don't know who they are and the fact that they don't want to reveal that. It's so many, uh, so many kind of boxes of shady things which uh, you have to kind of address at some point. Um, as, as I anticipated, they, uh, they want to airdrop your coins, reason why they try to promote airdropping on their app and they want to test that with their coins first, um, <laughs> kind of expected. Um, the thing which kind of worries me is the important legal bit on the, on the bottom of their articles um, and kind of some sort of disclaimers that um, the airdrop is only available to persons outside of the United States, Canada and non-OFAC sanctioned countries and is subject to all applicable local laws rules and regulations of the applicable juris, uh, jurisdiction. Uh, each recipient shall determine which law rules and regulations are applicable and shall undertake all necessary efforts to comply with such obligations. Guys, in case you're not allowed to trade any crypto in your country, <laughs> you won't get your coins. Uh, if you have all sorts of different laws and regulations in place for uh, trading in the crypto market or even getting close to the crypto market i'm sorry but you can't have your coins um, and you'll be liable legally in case you are going to um, entertain any airdrop of coins into your wallet which will then uh, be able to kind of convert into into dollars or whatever um, so it's a very 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 shady type of comment and they kind of move the liability from them onto you by having this bit in the um, in the article so we be, be very careful in case you can't transaction crypto don't do it in case you uh, are having issues transactioning bitcoin or ethereum within your country maybe don't do it i don't think it's illegal to get your core into your wallet but i'm not sure if all countries allow transactioning bitcoin or um, allowing transactioning any sort of uh, crypto activities. Uh, most laws uh, apply for some countries, um, but I I can't check it for you, so you'll have to check that yourself. But just be sure that you actually understand what's uh, what's going on and what they're actually saying on on that last bit, um, as well as uh, from business and tax advice. Make sure that you know how much tax you have to pay in case you're going to sell coal and in case you're going to make some money by transaction in that um, any capital gain taxes you'll have to pay that that's your, your liability and just make sure that you know what you're actually doing when it comes to that but then maybe you won't be even able to sell anything if you look at the last line in which the airdrop does not constitute or an offer to sell um, or the solicitation of an offer to purchase any investment so at the end of the day i think this is just a little game in which they're going to test their system in which 25 percent of your coins which you kind of already have in your wallet they're taking it all away from you and they're going to give you 25 percent and then two more years again two more years of waiting to mine what you already mined um, Again, shady, crazy. I don't know why they do that and I don't know what they test, but um, obviously if, if this is a genuine project, they try to build a genuine project and they want it to succeed um, and they're going to do anything that it takes to make it succeed, even if they're going to kind of make you angry, make me angry. I'm not angry uh, and I don't, to be honest, I don't really care. Um, if you think Cordao is your life changer. Uh, this is an advice. Change that thought because I don't think either Pi Network or Cordao are going to change your life in the near future. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but you should probably do something with your life to 
to ensure that you can uh, you can save your situation in case you're in a bad financial position because I don't think Cordao or Pi Network are going to do that very soon for us. Um, so I suggest get a job, get something to get an income. I know we all want to be financial free, but uh, sometimes that takes time and don't skip a few stages uh, because you can't jump the stairs. If the stairs are too long, you're just going to break your legs. Um, so I suggest embrace yourself with this sort of behavior in case you believe in these networks and just allow them time to develop because there's so many things which they can't oversee and there's so many things which they pop up as they go and they're just going to disappoint you more and more but just make sure you're ready for that um, guys let me know your thoughts about Cordao in the in the description in the comments below and let's see if this day today 12th uh, in case this video is going to upload on the 12th of January is going to be the day uh, when they're going to actually launch the mainnet and the airdrop kind of um, facility within the app. Uh, there's an app obviously updating as we speak and I'm not sure what will that mean. Uh, we'll keep an eye if that's the mainnet and we're going to be able to uh, validate and even stake our coins. I'll take that. But I'm not sure if staking is going to do anything or not in case they already kind of allocated the amount of coins that are in circulation. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what they've got in stake for us. <laughs> uh, but till then, uh, don't forget to look after yourself and your families and we talk soon. Bye.